the post-Ukrainian reconstruction. Okay, I, uh, stop. But these I, are good, I, these are good facts, Bill. Stop they, with the facts. Stop with the facts, Russell Brand. Just just give me the emotion. I just want to talk about why Trump's bad. That's it. These are facts. Pro- possibly. I don't have. I'm, I don't have a fact checker here. I don't doubt it. You're not going to need one. Wait, wait. Bill Maher is once again getting destroyed on his own show. This time by Russell Brand. And I keep saying it over and over again. But Bill Maher really needs to stop inviting people who are much, much smarter than him, who are much more researched, well researched than he is, because Bill Maher relies strictly on emotions instead of facts and logic. And people like Russell Brand, who, especially people like Russell Brand, who used to be liberals, who used to be in Bill Maher's position, but because people like Russell Brand and Joe Rogan actually look at facts and actually use logic within their brain instead of just emotions, they switched to the other side. And now they're not on Bill Maher's side anymore. So let's go see Russell Brand absolutely pick apart all of Bill Maher's woke talking points. Let's check out these couple of clips here from Bill Maher's own podcast. It's kind of meta journalism. Right. We accumulate facts. We don't use anything that's not been endorsed in mainstream media. Let me get, hit you up with some of this stuff and because I genuinely want to hear your take. But let me give you the whole thing as an overview and then you can, as... Bill Maher, because knock, let's knock, face it, no one else can do this. <laughs> knock yourself Duke. out. <laughs> okay, so former Israeli Prime Minister Naftali Bennett said recently a Russia-Ukraine peace deal was blocked by Western powers. We know that Boris Johnson visited Ukraine and counseled Zelensky against taking the peace deal that's on the table. That's just one thing. Let me hit you with all this stuff. Zelensky has vowed to retake Crimea, but Russia said that's the red line that will spark nuclear war. We know that, all right? Republican Senate leader Mitch McConnell said in December 2022, the most basic reasons for continuing to help Ukraine degrade and defeat the Russian invaders are cold, hard, practical American interests. And then and I'll just widen this out a little. The Pentagon spent $14 trillion after 9-11. 55% of it went to for-profit defense contractors. The average American taxpayer contributed $2,000 to the military last year. More than 900 of that went to corporate military contractors. At least 15 politicians who shape U.S. defense policy have investments in you military contractors. Let me, let me move this screen over so you can see Bill Maher's reaction real quick. He thinks the camera's not on him. As Russell Brand is reading off facts that dispute things, claims that Bill Maher has made in the past, look at his face. Like, you can even see it in the freeze frame here, but let me rewind a little bit so you can see the faces that he's making. He doesn't think he's on camera right here. So watch this. At least 15 politicians who shape U.S. defense policy have investments in military contractors. Military contractors. He's over it. He's over the facts. He just wants to hear emotion. He just wants to spew about how much he hates Donald Trump and then leave me alone with the rest of it. You know, it's like they, these people, like it's not just Bill Maher. Like he's not the only one. I don't mean to just pick on him. He's just the one that invites these guests onto a show, which I guess respect for actually being able to have these conversations and inviting people like Russell Brand on and stuff. But it's all of these people on the woke side of things. They have no no concept of facts, no concept of logic. It's all just emotion. Trump is evil, orange man bad. Like the memes are true. The memes are just true and they make them more and more true every single day. To split their checks more or less evenly between Democrat and Republican candidates last year. And Biden appointed a black rock, a former black rock MD to the cabinet okay. in particular to sort out okay. this, the post-Ukrainian reconstruction. Okay, I, uh, stop. But these I, are good, I, these are good facts, Bill. Stop they, with the facts. Stop with the facts, Russell Brand. Just just give me the emotion. I just want to talk about why Trump's bad. That's it. These are facts. Pro- possibly, I don't have. I'm, I don't have a fact checker here. I don't doubt anything. You're not going to need one. Wait, wait. I, I, but that's it's so far from the point. I, I mean, I feel no. like your antenna for conspiracy theories. Oh. I mean, you have a good antenna, and then sometimes uh, it does not serve you well because, like. Even if all this stuff is true, yeah. it's just more complicated than that. It, both things can be true. It can be something that is a worthy endeavor to stop Russia from invading a, another country. Uh, and, and it also could be the case. It is the case, of course. People in the defense industry are looking to, to keep having reasons to make weapons and so forth. Yes. There are people who absolutely have a vested interest yes. in war those are what your facts are saying it- it's amazing to me how people like bill maher whenever they know they're in the wrong they just become this person who oh i can see all sides of the equation like every nobody's actually wrong on this everybody can be somewhat right yes russia can be evil and you know invading ukraine and all this stuff like yes that that might be right but also like the other side of things where these powers that be like they want to keep these wars going. Maybe it's worth it for us to support Ukraine. Maybe it's not. It's like, no, dude, take a damn stance. Like you had a stance before, but now that Russell Brand is bringing you facts on why your stance was wrong. Now you're a fence sitter. Now you're a fence rider all of a sudden. Like 
it's just, bro, I, like, I don't understand these people like Bill Maher, man. It doesn't mean, even if all that is true, and I would agree, there are people who have a vested interest in war. That doesn't mean, logically, it doesn't mean that every war is because of that. I would Wars offer this. Wars can also be for another reason, and then these people glom Absolutely. onto but, that. But, like, That's called the, the shock doctrine. When you take, I don't think anybody cares. Like I, I'm, I, I'm sorry, I keep pausing, but Bill Maher just pisses me off so much, and, and everybody in this woke cult just pisses me off so much. I, I can't, I can't not pause it. Um, I don't think we care about why wars are started. Personally, I don't care. Personally, I just want the the money that's being stolen from me by the government. You know, taxation. I want that to stop going to Ukraine and to the other country in the Middle East that I, I can't even talk about. Like, I, I want my money to stop going to those places. Like, it, it's it's ridiculous how much we're taxed, especially for me, like, and, and other self-employed people. It's ridiculous how much you're taxed. And I, I want the money to stop being wasted in, in foreign countries whenever there's tons of issues within our own country. Like, I think that's the biggest issue for me and a lot of other people out there. Let me know in the comments if you agree. It's not even about like more, like it's not like, obviously, yes, we want to be like morally correct, but it's not even about like the moral issue of is Russia right for invading Ukraine? I don't, I don't care. I just don't care. I don't think we should be involved in it. Like, I think that's the biggest thing. And like Bill Maher is going to try to make it into this super complicated issue. But in my opinion, it's like, why are we involved? It, it doesn't involve us. Like just get out and stop wasting money on it. But it's not, it's not that simple, is it? It's, it's because it's not about us actually caring about Ukraine. It's about other things that are happening. You know, it's, it's about people wanting these wars to continue, if you know what I'm saying. Take advantage. Yes. When you take advantage yes. of a crisis, yes. it's going on. But it also could be the case that the war is a valiant endeavor. I, 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 to not, a point. I'm not excluding I, that Not until they bomb Ukraine to nothing. I mean, yeah. there, it's a very valid question uh, now to ask. Um, what I'm saying is, do you think it's a coincidence that the mainstream media only reports on one aspect of, of this conflict, it only gives you one narrative? I'm not like, I am obviously not in a, look at my glittery trousers. I'm not in an opinion <laughs> <laughs> a position to offer a definitive opinion on this. But what I will say is that sometimes when you talk about my antenna, right, this is what I think is like. If you enjoy content like this and make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel, it really does help me out a ton. Let's get back to the video. Either. This war in Ukraine is motivated by a genuine and legitimate need to okay. rightly and correctly support Ukrainian people who are under attack and suffering because of a war. Because I've when I've been looking at life, I know it's how often humanitarianism is the motivation of the military industrial complex. So they're always like, who can we help now? Who can we help now? And wouldn't it be great if we had a system that's like, oh, just to make sure that there is no other, uh, no other motivation, there can be no profit extracted yeah. from this conflict you know that the, the, the aid <laughs> offered will not end up in Raytheon, Lockheed Martin, Northbrook, Grumman, and BAE system. Okay. Wouldn't that All be right. a beautiful system? Okay. Like, so as long as that right. is one of the possible I, reasons, yes, I, 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 isn't it the most likely I, I, reason? I, I, well, again, I've, now I feel I'm like... Not saying, I'm talking about complexity. I feel like now we're just making... We, like you've uh, made your point and right. I've made mine and now I feel like we're repeating ourselves because like I'm just going to say again, and I, I, it sounds like you didn't hear me. Like both things can be true. It's just no. Not but you said earlier. Not it's just wild how this, like, how Bill Maher can just listen to everything that Russell Brand is just saying. And let me know in the comments if I'm the crazy one. But everything that Russell Brand is saying to Bill Maher here makes complete sense. He's not, he's not even he's being extremely reasonable. Like for talking to a leftist, like you know, part of somebody who's part of the woke cult, he's being reasonable even to them, like from their point of view. He's not be, he's not even stating what he truly thinks on it. He's just stating it from an objective standpoint. When you have all the facts gathered, he's saying, like, isn't it reasonable to think if all of these things are pointing in this direction, that is the most likely like thing. That's the most likely possibility or most likely outcome. The most likely that is is causing this war to happen is this. If all the facts are pointing towards this. And Bill Maher is like, all right, man, like enough of your facts. Like, let's just move on to something else. It's just, it's wild, dude. Like they're the fact they never care about facts. It's all just emotion. It's all just orange man, bad, right wing, bad, woke cult must win. 
And, it, you know, even to the detriment of the own country that they live in, even to the detriment of the cities that they live in, so much so that they vote in a certain way for the vote call to win over and over and over again. And then there's mass exoduses from the city. We saw that with Los Angeles. Everybody voted a certain way. They absolutely trashed the city. Now everybody moves over to Austin. Everybody moves there. They vote a certain way. Now everybody's ex, you know, there's a mass exodus from Austin over to Florida. Now they're going to vote in Florida a certain way until they ruin the entire country and there's nowhere left to run. And, and they don't care like they're that doesn't even like they don't even it doesn't even register in their brain they're just running around the country voting certain ways ruining cities and then moving on and they don't even realize they're doing it they're just like oh i'm gonna keep voting this way and i don't understand every city that i move to it just goes to crap like i keep moving here to go to a, a nice city and every time i get here it's just it, it turns crappy what i don't understand what's happened like they just they're just brain dead man they're just brainless Everything like Putin is a monster or. and Zelensky is a hero. And I'm like, well, hang on. What about this shit? Because do you think like, how uh, how and, long and do you think for Zelensky is going to get support if you, he's interested to, to converge be, with the MIC? Throwing your hands together like, oh, on the one hand, yeah, Putin is a, <laughs> a murderer who pushes people out of windows and starts wars and, and all these crimes against humanity. And this guy has some shady business dealings. He's Ukrainian. He was born with a shady business dealing. I mean, that's what the country. Okay. I, like, I think I'm gonna cut it off there. Um, the fact that he says like Putin is like, obviously he's done bad things. I think every single world leader has done bad things or they wouldn't be a world leader. But he said he, did, he listed off all these bad things he did. Then when he gets to Zelensky, he's like, well, he's Ukrainian. He was born into these bad things. It's like, okay, you are literally taken over by the propaganda machine. There is nothing I can do to help you. Like you're, you're gone. So let me know in the comments what you think about Russell Brand's appearance on Bill Maher. This one got me a little bit angry. I'm not going to lie. Uh, reacting to Bill Maher clips this often is not good for the health, but let me know in the comments what you guys are thinking. If you did enjoy the video, please leave a like, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I hope to see you guys on the next one.